Hey Dosers, my name is Brett Sterk and I'm the pastor of women's ministry at the Carlsbad campus. Have you ever heard that there is power in the name of Jesus? We sing about it often, but do we really know what it means? Now, when we say power in the name of Jesus, like there is definitely power in Jesus' name in terms of like demons shuddering and fleeing, but I'm not gonna talk about that today. Today, I'm gonna talk about there being power in the name of Jesus because he is the only way to true salvation. I'm gonna take a step back in history here to give us a little lesson about what things looked like in the days of Jesus. Now we had the Roman culture who was, the Roman Empire was massive at the time and they were oppressing the Jews. And with them, they brought this culture of Hellenism, which basically was kind of like, if it tastes good, eat it. If it feels good, do it. It was kind of like this raunchy, like never ending, Las Vegas lifestyle, if you will. And then we had the Jewish culture that was following the Torah, you know, the first five books of the Bible which of course was nothing like Hellenism. With the Jewish culture, there were rabbis who each had their own school of thought. They had varying teachings about Messiah, how he would come and what he would do and what he would be like. You've probably heard of the Pharisees, which literally means set apart. They clung to the letter of the law. They kept themselves separated from the Romans and the Hellenistic culture. They're kind of like snobs that like wouldn't let any you know, uncool kids into their club. Um, you've probably also heard of the Sadducees and they believed in strict interpretation of the law and they didn't believe in life after death. So when Jesus comes on the scene and he starts welcoming all the uncool people to his parties and he starts healing the unclean and talking about life after death, the Pharisees and the Sadducees started freaking out. I mean, Jesus is saying that he's the Messiah. And if he's the Messiah, he's come in a totally different way than what these guys have taught. So it made them look stupid. And that is why they'd be upset and didn't like him. So as we look at scripture, we see over and over again that when healing happened or salvation happened, there was a clear proclamation that it happened in the name of Jesus. Not the name of the Pharisees, not the name of the Sadducees or the Romans or some other false god. Um, it was only granted to those who called on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So let's read some scriptures that show us just that. Acts 2.21 says, And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Acts 4.12 says, And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. So today, friends, I'm here to remind us that there is power in the name of Jesus and only Jesus. He is the way to true salvation. There's no salvation under other rabbis or teaching or gods. There is no salvation in checking off your box of, I went to church or I live a good life or career success or money accumulation. There is no salvation through self-help books or distraction or control. The only way to salvation is when we fully surrender control of our lives to Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus because only his way, his teachings can bring us true salvation, peace, love, and acceptance. So dosers, are you studying under another school of thought? Do you call something else or someone else your master? The only God worth following, the only God worth believing in is our Lord Jesus Christ, who gives us salvation from our sins when we fully surrender our all to him. I want to leave you with Romans 10, 9 today. It's so simple. And it just says, if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Have you surrendered today? There is power in the name of Jesus. We'll see you next time.